Hey guys, it's Lala and you're watching Lala Tarot. Today we're going to be unboxing the Seasons of the Witch Yule Oracle by Lori Ann Anderson and Juliet Diaz. I am excited to have this one. It's um, uh, published by Rockpool and it goes for $21.95 in the U.S. Um, I'm excited to have this one. Uh, it came out, it's supposed to release on about September 15th, all right? Um, on Amazon, but I happened to be at the metaphysical store today and I saw it. So I was like, all right, I'm about to grab this right now. <laughs> so um, today we're going to take a look at this. I do have the first edition as well, um, which I'm going to show you guys in a little bit um, what that looked like. And so this is like a second edition. So yeah, we're going to take a look at this today uh but before we get into it i do want to let you guys know the drawing is still going on uh for the free deck giveaway i will be giving away the gratitude oracle again by angela hartfield i won't be giving you this box this one is mine you'll get a brand new copy for yourself all wrapped up um but yeah it's a beautiful deck and because we reached our 50 subscriber count like i asked I'm giving away a free deck. The only thing you have to do to enter this giveaway is send me an email to lala.tarot777 at gmail.com and this deck could be yours. All you have to do is send me an email to lala.tarot777 at gmail.com. I'm gonna leave that information in the description box below. Send me the name that you would like for me to announce as the winner. Let's say your nickname is Cherry on Top 222. Just send me an email with that in there and I will pull a drawing. And if that's what comes out, that's the name that I will announce. And then I will send you an email back, letting you know that you won and how you can get your free deck. So this is what it looks like. Um, I do have an unboxing on my channel. If you want to check out the full video uh, of the Gratitude Oracle, then feel free to look at that on my channel. But that's what we're going to give away is the Gratitude Oracle. And that ends on September 1st. So you want to get it in, you know, by the end of August, last day of August by midnight, because September 1st, the drawing will be closed. All right. So make sure you email me and I'll have that information in the description box below. All right, guys, so I guess now that we've got that out of the way, we have took care of business, let's go ahead and first talk about the first edition. So this is the one we're going to unbox today, Seasons of the Witch Yule Oracle. Um, but the first edition came out, I think it was last year, if I'm not mistaken, it was last year, and it's the Samhan Oracle. So just a different version of it. And I really liked it. When I first got the deck, I was like, wow, this is so witchy. It's so cool. You get a guidebook with it, a pretty nice size guidebook. Um, and here are the cards. Let me show you guys. Here are the cards. They're very beautiful, very witchy. They feel so good. That's one of the things I love about this oracle is that it feels so good. Um, you know, the pictures aren't very diverse, I will say that, but they're also not realistic people, you know. So what I love about them is how much it makes you feel as if you're tapping into your magic and how the messages are so spot on. Definitely as we get closer to Halloween, I'm trying to pick up decks that kind of tie into that Halloween theme of pumpkins and witches. And this is a really, really nice oracle that does that. You get your keyword or um, passage and a couple sentences below. And then you definitely want to use your guidebook for this deck because sometimes the sentence below doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But yeah, so that's what the first um, the first version looks like. And that came out last year. Check that out if you're interested in that as well. Again, that's the Seasons of the Witch. Um, what's it? Seasons of the Witch Samham Oracle, okay? 
So check that out if you're interested. Uh, today we're going to go into season two <laughs> of The Witch. Yeah, we're going to go into the second season of The Witch, Yule Oracle. And so let's see. I have not even, I haven't seen a lot about this deck at all. It's just one of those decks that kind of just sneaks up on you and pops out all of a sudden. And it has like um, these Christmas ornaments. So I don't know if there's, it's more of a Christmas theme or maybe this season is the, the, the Christmas, you know, winter season. I don't really know. We're going to find out together. Um, this is really nice though. So let's first talk about the guidebook. Um, you do get your hard box. Let me just say that. You got to give credit where it's due. You get a really nice hard box. I love it because I don't really like tuck boxes and boxes that, you know, bend up easily. I wanted something that's going to be able to protect my cards and this definitely will do that. And then you have your guidebook. It appears to be 136 pages. It talks about the other publications, which is the one I just showed you. Um, it does, oh, it's a color. So we love the fact that it has color in there. That's beautiful. Let's see. Does it have a table of contents? It does, it does. Uh, it goes into the authors, the illustrator, an introduction, how to use your cards, a couple of spreads, and then some on each of the oracle cards. You do get 44 cards, all right, in your guidebook. So the spreads here are really interesting because it looks like you get quite a few spreads, actually. If you look at that, you're getting a lot of spreads. Interview your deck spread. That was a good one. You're going to get a three card spread. I mean, you're going to some Christmas cross. Yeah, this is seems like it's more of a Christmas version for us. So let's see. Yeah, you're going to get a new year ahead. That's a really awesome spread to do too. And then each card. So when you get to your card, it looks like you get some keywords, the one, at, the phrase at the bottom, and then it will go into a nice, passage about the actual card an extended meaning and a magic tip you'll also get a magic tip so lots of information for each and every card it is colored so i do love that i really like this guidebook i really really do all right so let's go ahead and look at our cards excited excited so when you take it out now this one is gilded in green so you're definitely getting that whole christmas effect um yeah you're definitely getting the christmas effect and i don't know if that's what it's all about let's read what the back of the these are the backs of the cards i'll give you guys a minute to kind of check those out while i read and see what is this deck all about so it says and the wheel turns Yule reminds us of warmth, happiness, and a time to be thankful for all that we have. For centuries, ancient healers have celebrated the restorative energy of the Yuletide Festival, the traditional harsh winters reminding us of our impressive ability to weather tough storms and find support and comfort with loved ones. In the Seasons of the Witch, Yule Oracle, you'll discover 44 healing messages to align you with the divine wisdom of the year's darkest night and the joyful celebration associated with the winter holidays. This oracle is your path to deep reflection and tranquility and is a promise of the brighter days to come. All right, so there we have it. You know, it will be um, going over more of the winter seasons, the winter holidays. So that's very interesting, I guess, with the um, Seasons of the Witch Samhain Oracle, the first version, that one looked like to be more so like fall and fall holidays and things like um, Halloween and things like that. So that's the difference. So we're in a different season now. All right, we're in the winter season with this deck. We get it. So yeah, with that being said, the backs of them totally fit with it being like green and orange. Really cute. You do get your green gilding on the side. Very cute. That's very, very cute. So I guess I totally missed my mark because I was looking for Halloween decks, but you know, Christmas is cool too. That's cool. All right, so let's take a look at the backs uh, or the cards. First, we have Bear Medicine. That's cute. Can you guys see that? I think so. So Bear Medicine. 
Ooh, that's pretty. Cancel magic. The card stock is really good. It's really nice. Cardinal medicine. That is so pretty. Ceremony. Now, you do get some nudity in these cards. Does not bother me. It's up to you. You know, that's too vulgar for you. But um, you do get some nudity. You have chills. I really feel like this deck is like really beautiful. I think it's just really, really pretty. All right. They do stick together at first. So give it some time. Cold moon. Contemplation. Chrome. They do stick together. Darkest hour. Dove medicine. Falling in love. Oh, the little horse. Family. Oh, I love that there's more diversity in this version. That's awesome. And, you know, the people look a little bit more realistic than the last deck that came out last year. So, that's nice to see. All right. Father Christmas. Feasting. That's beautiful. I really like that. Forest. Frost, gatherings, gratitude, hearth, that's beautiful, oh, and it has the pictures from the first, that first card that I said was really nice, that's the same one, that's really pretty, light, doesn't look too light there where she at, but okay. It says, hope is but a word, but a word casting the unseen. Let there be light where light is but a dream. So you see what I'm saying as far as like the message you get at the bottom. Sometimes it's like this poem type of, you know, it's not really like cut and dry. Like, okay, I understand exactly what the whole message is. You definitely are going to want to use your guidebook in order to get a more of an extended meaning for the card. All right, merriment. All right, mistletoe. It's nice. Mother Mary. <laughs> they definitely stick together a lot at first. Offerings. A oh, whole garlic like garlic what cake it's so cute ornaments i like that perseverance poinsettia poinsettia Reindeer medicine. Remembering. Ringing the bells. Oh, that's nice. Self care. Silent night. Yeah, this one I like. I like a lot of the pictures a lot better. A lot of the images. Snow. Solstice. Squirrel medicine. Star. Star. 
storm. Hmm. Telling stories. That's cute. Tranquility. <laughs> Turning inward. Hmm. The unknown. Wise men. Wreath. Very beautiful, I love that. And Yule Log. All right, so those were the 44 cards in the Seasons of the Witch uh, Yule Oracle. Very, very beautiful. It's more of a winter season edition, I suppose. So, you know, that doesn't mean you don't have to, you know, you have to wait until winter to use them. They shuffle amazing. The card stock feels amazing. I haven't had any problems with the last uh, version that I had either. It's it's lasted a whole year without, you know, getting messed up. I did show you guys that deck is still in very good condition. So, um, card stock is great. I love it. I love it. You know, and you can use these however you want. If you want to put both decks together, go ahead. You know, put them on top of each other. Make one deck. You know, keep your guidebooks out and go from there. It's up to you how you want to do it. So. Let's get a message though and see what um, what message we get from this deck, all right? So let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that deck for us. And let's shuffle. What is our message? Last week of August, one card only. What is our message for the last week of August? Last week. Last week of August. This feels like they want to really talk like a thousand cards wants to come out. Just one, please. Just one. Thank you. All right. So we have Feasting. Feasting. What a beautiful deck this really is. So our um, card that we receive, guys, is Feasting. It says, let us feast upon the nourishing and be thankful for thy feast, nor here or there, yet everywhere it be. All right, let's see what that's all about, shall we? Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and get our guidebook, and I'll read it for you. It is card number 14. So the 14th of September could be important. The number 14 could be important to you in some shape or form. 14 days could be important in some shape or form. But just wanted to put that out there. So some of the key words for this beautiful card that we have here are nourishment, having enough, providing. So it says, in ancient times, there would have been a lot of worry during the winter season. Your ancestors would have had to conserve as much food as possible, fearing their families wouldn't have enough to survive. When Yule came around, your ancestors would drink and celebrate as a signal of faith in the brighter days to come. Most of the modern world doesn't need to worry about having enough food, but the fear of not having enough still exists in different, in different ways. You are being guided to challenge your limiting beliefs around scarcity. You can be generous with your time and resources, knowing that what you give will be returned tenfold. Allowing yourself to give despite your concerns lets the universe know you will be provided for. The more you trust in having enough, the more the universe rewards this faith with more abundance. Do not sacrifice moments to nourish your mind, body, and soul because of fear. As you confront your limiting beliefs, more pathways to wealth will be provided to you. So I hope that message helps someone. Um, I know even with me, like I went shopping today. I went to the metaphysical store. You know, I got my nails done. I kind of hung out. I bought um, some gifts for a couple of people, some, you know, things like that. And why do I feel bad about that? Like, why do I feel bad about going beyond just going to work and paying bills? You know, why? why is that? You know, so that is something I know that this message definitely helps and resonates with me to say, listen, we shouldn't feel bad about buying ourselves gifts. We shouldn't feel bad about spending $20 on a deck if we like the deck, you know, because we don't, we're not just here just to work and pay bills. 
You know, we're here to treat ourselves. We're here to give to others. We're here to be generous to others and be a blessing to others and have faith that the universe wants to provide for us and wants to see us genuinely succeed, you know, in life. So I definitely love this message. I appreciate that. And, you know, if you have any ideas about how this message resonates with you, feel free to leave those below in the comment box. Um, yeah, great message for us today, guys. So again, this has been an unboxing of the Seasons of the Witch Yule Oracle. I'm going to go ahead and spread that out so you guys can kind of see. Now, it's supposed to be a Christmas deck, okay? It's supposed to be for, for the, the winter seasons and the winter holidays, but hey. We don't care about stuff like that. <laughs> We're going to use it when we want to use it. We're going to use it first day of summer if we want, right? So this is what it looks like. It's beautiful. I really like it. I really, really appreciate it. And I love the message that it gave. So um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. I got my little stone with me, our selenite stone. Um, let me know what you guys think about this deck. Leave me a comment below. Again, I'm going to leave the... Um, details for our deck giveaway in the description box below. You definitely want to go ahead and get your entry in, honey, because I'm giving away a brand new gratitude oracle. Not this one. I'm keeping this one. This one is mine. You can't have this one, but I am going to give you your own version of the gratitude oracle. So definitely check those details out. Shoot me that email and get into that drawing because it closes September the 1st. If you don't get in by then, you got to wait till the next one comes. All right, loves. All right. So I appreciate you guys watching Lala Tarot. I hope that you like this video. If so, definitely give me that thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Become a part of the Lala Tarot family because this is what we do here. We just unbox videos, unbox decks all the time, all the time. <laughs> all right, guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend. And until next time, peace.